Sit up nice and tall, cross-legged. Your hands resting on your knees, close your eyes. And we're going to breathe shorter inhale and longer exhale. So starting with a three count breath in and five count breath out. Keep going with this. So one, two, three as you breathe in. One, two, three, four, five as you breathe out. Continue this three breath, three count in, five counts out. This breath is for strengthening the rest and digest the parasympathetic nervous system. It's for resetting our fight or flight. As you continue this breath, take a moment to notice the mind, notice the body, gentle scan of the front of the body. The inside of the body. in the back of the body. Noticing any sensations. Any tension. Continue with this breath. Noticing your emotional state. What are you feeling right now? If you could name to yourself three feelings. Maybe you can't. And if you're not able to, if it's hard in the moment, that's a cue that you're still in fight or flight. So just continue this breath. Don't worry about naming or noticing emotions, it's a different part of the brain which you may not have access to right now. Let's do a few more of these breaths. Settling in for our time together today. And inhale deeply, hold the breath in, and exhale. 
Bring your palms together in front of the heart. Gently rub them together. And press your thumbs at the center of the chest. Sit up tall. Bring your chin in slightly towards your chest. We'll begin by tuning in, chanting Om Namo Gurudev Namo. I bow to the teacher. I bow to the wisdom within me. Inhale deeply. Om Namo Gurudev Namo your hands and knees for cat cow. Hands are underneath your chest, knees under the hips. Inhaling, lifting the head, looking up towards the ceiling. Exhale, rounding the spine, hollow out the belly, navel towards the spine. Inhale, exhale, keep going. You can start slow and go more rapidly as your spine warms up. And if you have a playlist at home, any mantra music or the playlist I gave you, you can start playing it now as we begin our yoga sets. Inhaling, looking up, exhaling, releasing the head down, rounding the spine, matching the movement with the breath. Our nervous system heals with rhythm. So we want to keep this rhythm of movement and breath. Repetition. We are rhythmic beings. We have internal rhythms. We are tuned into the rhythms of nature, the rhythm of day and night, the rhythm of our breath, of our heartbeat of our glandular system. Yeah, keep going. If you would like to go faster, go faster. We have a little under a minute left. Warming up the spine. You can close your eyes and focus your awareness at the brow points between the eyebrows, slightly up and within. And come center, inhale. Exhale, sit back into child's pose. Rest your forehead to the mat.
Take a few long, deep breaths in child's pose, softening the spine. And very slowly come up and you're going to come back into this position, but with a neutral spine. So not bending the spine anymore, just spine parallel to the floor and lifting the right leg up and back. So don't compromise your lower back. You don't have to lift it too high. You can lift it parallel as high as it's comfortable and then exhaling nose to the knee. Inhale up, exhale nose to the knee. So again, we could move as fast or as slow as you want. We're doing 30 repetitions. So we've done about four. So do 26 more of these at your own rhythm. Thirty total. When you're done with the 30, rest in child's pose. So that I know you're done. Take your time, we have time. Taking a few long deep breaths in child's pose. Inhaling, coming back and we'll do the same thing with the left leg. Same movement, inhale, like up and back. Exhale, no spinny, 30 repetitions. When you're done with the 30, child's pose. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. And come sitting up with the knees a little bit apart and you're holding opposite arms. So these are called hugging spinal bends. So we're inhaling center, exhaling to the side. Inhale center, exhale to the side. Stretching the side body. Keep the shoulders down. You can close your eyes, focus them at the brow points. Continue this rhythm. Inhaling, center, exhaling to each side. Again, creating a rhythm.
And if it's not comfortable for you in any of these postures to sit on the heels, like this, you can sit cross-legged. Come center, inhale. And exhale. So staying on the heels if you're still okay on the heels. Otherwise, anytime, feel free to come cross-legged. Bring the index finger and thumb touching, and then the palms are facing forward. The other fingers are together. Inhale, twist to the left. Exhale, twist to the right. Try to keep your elbows parallel to the floor. Move and breathe powerfully. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. You can close your eyes and focus down at the, the right point, the brow. Come center, inhale, and exhale, release the hands down. So bringing now the knees together, and again, option always to come sitting cross-legged. We have one more on the knees, and I like to place a cushion between the seat and the feet. So if you have a blanket or a cushion, you can do that. Hands are resting on the thighs, shoulders down the back, and spinal flexes, so inhaling forward, Exhale, rounding the spine back. Inhale forward, exhale back. The eyes are closed. Focused at the brow points, mentally repeating, hearing the sound of sat, which means truth. And on the inhale, and nam, and the am, our essence, our identity. On the exhale, sat. On the inhale, nam. On the exhale. Rhythm with breath and with the movement of the spine. Powerful breaths, inhaling forward, exhaling back.
Inhale, come center, hold the breath in. Apply more bomb, root walk. Exhale. Bring your hands forward and very, very slowly, if you've been on your heels this time, take your time to stretch the legs out a little bit. Take one leg and rotate the foot. And the other. Gently. And then coming into a forward bend, so if you need to take a moment to shake the feet, the legs out, standing and shake the legs out. And then bring your feet, they could be parallel or maybe this width apart, like a little bit less than with hip width apart. And your hands will be like this. You're hooking at the thumbs. And coming into, we're starting in a forward bend. So it's okay if you need to bend the knees a little bit, if that makes it more comfortable for your lower back. We're going to inhale all the way up and back. If that feels okay for your lower back as well, you can lean back. Or you could just come to straight to protect the lower back. And then folding forward. So we're going to do this in rhythm with the breath. Inhale, stretching up and exhale. Holding forward. So if you can keep the legs straight, keep them straight. And keep moving with the breath. Inhale up, exhale down. Lengthening the spine, stretching the whole body. Deep, powerful breaths. Keep going. Five more. After the fifth one, come into the forward bend, hang for a few breaths. Might feel good to sway side to side. You can bring the feet up wider if that feels nice. We'll just sway from one foot to the other. And then come center. Inhale and roll all the way up slowly. And we're going to come sitting with the legs stretched out, stretched out ahead of us. Like this, so you're sitting. The legs are a comfortable distance apart. It doesn't have to feel like a strain. Your feet are flexed. Inhaling center. Exhale, belly towards the thigh. Inhale, center. Exhale, down. If you're finding the hips are really tight, you could sit up on a cushion for this one to lift your seat higher. And it's also okay if your knees bend a little bit. Powerful breath. Keep your shoulders down. You can close your eyes, focus on at the brow points.
meditate at the brow point. Notice the back body. So all of our energy centers, the chakra system has a front funnel that goes out and then a funnel in the back of each chakra also. And the back is about receiving. So for example, the front of the heart chakra is how do we give? How do we feel compassion for others? How do we give love? But the back of the heart will be about receiving. Is it comfortable for us to receive loving words, loving gestures? Inhale, come center. Exhale, gently soften down. So not forcing, just finding a place where you can, you feel a stretch, but there's no, no pain or too much discomfort. And we're going to stay here. A gentle, continuous pressure from gravity the weight of your upper body and just breathing long and deep. Notice your shoulders, notice your face, your jaw. Soften the jaw. Soften the shoulders. See if you can create more space between your shoulder blades. And that may help you release a little bit further down. And inhale. Exhale, soften the head down around the spine. And inhale, gently come up. Bring your legs together, shake them up. And come into a butterfly. So bringing the soles of the feet together, sitting up tall, and begin flapping the knees, just like butterfly wings. Bringing, lifting them about 10 to 12 inches up and then dropping them down. You're holding, you can interlace your hands around your toes. You can just fold the feet and begin long, deep breathing as you keep this flapping going. Opening up the hips, softening any tension in the hips. Good, and release. So just let the legs, the knees land where they will. And keep your hands where they are on the feet. And we're going to hinge forward. So as if you were trying to bring your belly towards the soles of the feet. So you might find, oh, it's a little close. And you might want to move the feet a little bit further to give you a better range of motion. But we're moving up, exhale, belly or chest towards the feet if you move the feet away. You're hinging forward. Inhaling up, exhale, hinging forward towards the feet. Good. Matching the breath with this movement. And if you feel comfortable, close your eyes. Make each one of these Dependent movements and meditation.
Nice. Inhale up. Hold the breath. Exhale forward. Hold the breath out. And inhale, come up. And we're going to come laying on the back now for pelvic lifts. So your feet are hip width apart. Relaxing down again, palms down by your side, facing down. Make sure your feet are parallel, parallel to each other, that they're not pointing in or out. Feet parallel. And by pressing into your feet, you're going to lift up and lower all the way back down. Inhale up. Exhale down. So long, deep, powerful breaths. Inhale up. Exhale down. Keep going. Eyes closed, focus at the breath root. And this next one, we'll hold up. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. And stretch your legs out. Rest on your back for a few breaths. Palms face up, feet fall out to the sides. A few long, deep breaths in and out through the nose. Before we move into a little bit of abdominals. So this next one will be a pistoning of the legs. You can bring your hands under your hips for support, palms facing down. Press your lower back into the floor. Bring both knees into the chest. Extend the right leg out parallel to the floor. Both toes are pointed. So this is inhale and then exhale, switch. Other leg parallel, other knee in. Inhale, exhale. Press your lower back into the floor, breathe powerfully and keep moving. Last 30 seconds, keep going. Both legs up. Hold. And exhale, release. Put your hands on your hips, bring them out and bring your palms facing out. Feet fall out to the side. 
and rest. Short little relaxation here. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your knees into your chest. Hold on to your shins. And walk up and down on your spine. From your tailbone to in between your shoulder blades. Keep rocking up and down. Keep going. Few more rock and rolls, maybe three more, and then you'll come onto your belly. Coming onto your belly with your legs together, feet together, toes pointed. And two options here, you can come into a king cobra or a full cobra. So if you bring your elbows under your shoulders, and you feel this is already a nice stretch for the lower back, then you'll stay here. If you feel you want to go further, then you come into a full cobra. But just be mindful of your lower back because we're going to be holding this for a little bit. So from here, begin breath of fire. And I will explain if you've never done breath of fire, but those of you who know, just begin breath of fire. So breath of fire is an equal inhale and exhale through the nose where your navel point is coming in towards the spine every time you exhale. So it sounds like this. So every time I'm exhaling, my navel is coming in, and when I'm inhaling, it's relaxing. So in the king cobra or the cobra, practicing this breath of fire, you can close your eyes, Lift the chin up. Thirty more seconds. 
If you need to rest in any of these postures, you can always rest and continue the breathing, continue your awareness of breath and imagine yourself doing the posture. Inhale deeply, hold the breath in. And turn your head to the left, open your eyes and look towards your left foot. Keep the breath in. And exhale, come back center. Inhale deeply. Turn your head to the right. Look over the right shoulder, look towards the right foot. Keep the breath in. And come center, exhale. One more time on each side. Inhale. Exhale, center. Inhale. Turn to the right. Exhale, center, inhale, lift up, lift your chin up, stretch up. And exhale, relax. Turn your head to the side and relax down. You can bring the big toes to towards each other, allow the heels to fall away from each other. And just feel your belly, feel your heart on the earth. Feel that connection to the floor and then beneath the floor. To the earth, feel the gravity supporting you, holding you. Sensing your heartbeat, feeling the breath that moves the body. And inhale and exhale. Bring your hands under your shoulders and press yourself into a child's pose, interlacing your hands behind your back. You can spread the knees out a little wider if that's more comfortable for you. And so you could stay here if you're not able to lift the arms up, if that's uncomfortable for you, or you could lift the arms up towards the head. Long, deep breathing. Holding this posture. Drawing your awareness into the upper back as you keep holding the arms up. And release the arms down and bring your hands on the other side of the knees and absolutely come up. And come sitting cross-legged for Sufi grinds. So these, your hands are on your knees and you'll be making big circles as if you were drawing a circle with the crown of the head on the ceiling. It doesn't matter which direction you start. Going in the same direction for now. Inhaling as you lean forward. Exhaling as you lean back. And you can close your eyes. Focus them at the brow point. Big, big circles.
can use your hands as leverage to lean back a little bit further. And reverse the direction. From center, inhale, hold the breath in, and exhale. This next posture, you could sit up on a cushion. working now on the magnetic fields, energy body, and also the lymphatic system. So it's a movement, it's a four-part movement with the hands. The thumbs are inside the other four fingers, making fists. So first movement, you're pulling your elbows back. Then you're crossing, that's number two. Crossing, doesn't matter which arm you're going to reverse it later. And then back to the original movement. And then hands towards the shoulders, not actually touching the shoulders. Back, cross, now you can reverse if you want, which arm is going back, and up. So one, two, three, four. And now adding the breath to this, so inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And moving pretty fast and powerfully. Just a few more seconds. Inhale, bring the elbows back. Exhale, bring your hands to your knees. Close your eyes and notice for a moment the field around you. Notice if you feel a little bit lighter. Clearer, more focused. 
and relaxing, noticing the difference. And we're going to move into shoulder shrugs. So both shoulders at the same time, inhaling, lifting them both up as high as you can towards the ears, exhale, dropping them down. Inhale, lift, exhale, drop. So powerful, quick movement. You want to be creating some heat in the shoulders. So we're releasing tension and stress from our shoulders, which tend to carry a lot of tension and this weight of responsibilities. So more powerful breath, fast movement. You can close your eyes. going. This can be hard. It can be difficult. It seems so simple. It can be really hard. So it's, take it easy if you need to go slower. And we're almost done. A few more seconds. Inhale, lift them up as high as they'll go. Hold. And exhale and drop them as low as you can. Keep them there. And bring your chin towards the chest. Left ear to the left shoulder and circle the head. So this is one where we do not want to go fast. But nice and slow and gentle with your neck. and reverse the direction. Continue breathing long and deep through the nose. And come center, inhale. And exhale. And two more moving postures before we meditate. This next one, if, again, if you can sit on your heels, sit on your heels. You can put a cushion in the heels. And repeat. You're going to interlace your hands in Venus lock. So you're interlacing the fingers, and then you're pressing the right thumb in that fleshy, soft part between the thumb and the index of the left hand. Just making your lock in place. Your arms will stay straight. And this is a wonderful exercise. So it's for our auric field, for our energy body, and it's on the emotional level also really a good one to 
let out frustration or clear out any anger, any remnants, um, anxiety or frustration just because of the powerful movement we're doing with the arms. So the arms, they come almost to the thighs, but they don't actually touch. And then they come up. So it's like you're chopping wood. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So it's a very fast, powerful movement with the breath. Inhaling up, exhaling down. You close your eyes. Inhale, bring the arms up, rotate them so that the palms are facing up towards the ceiling and begin breath of fire. Focus your awareness at the crown of the head, your eyes are closed. Inhale, hold the breath in. And exhale, release your arms down. Come sitting cross-legged. We'll meditate now, just find a comfortable seat. You can have your hands rested in your lap, your right hand inside the left and thumb tips touching, comfortably resting here. And close your eyes, lifting your spine tall, bringing your, ch your chin parallel to the floor. Meditate silently, inhaling, repeating, hearing, sensing that sound, that mantra sucks. And nam on the exhale. Tuning into the sensation of your true nature. Who are you beyond the body, beyond this identity, beyond your age, your gender? Sat nam. What is your true nature, your true essence? Softening the shoulders. Releasing any tension in the body. Just sitting and if your mind wanders, it's okay, bring it back to the breath, bring it back to this mantra.
Staying in this meditative place, this meditative mind, come to lay down on your back in meditation. If you'd like, you can cover yourself with a blanket or a sweater over your Just resting deeply after the breath in meditation. Laying down, palms facing up, feet fall out to the sides. And if you are listening to music, you could put on a shavasana or a deep relaxation track. Or just silence is nice too sometimes. So just allowing your feet to fall out to the sides. Arms up, feel the weight of the body supported by the floor.
Stretch your arms up above your head. Take a deep breath in and squeeze all the muscles tight. And exhale. Bring your right knee into your chest. Allow it to fall to the left. Turn your head to the right. Coming into cat stretch. Switch sides, left knee in, drop it to the right. Turn your head to the left. Come center. Rub your palms together, the soles of the feet together. Bring your knees into your chest and walk up and down two or three times. And you come up to sit. Using prayer with the chest, and we'll close with the long time sound prayer and then chanting Satnam three times. So, as I say the long time sound today, you can imagine, visualize, think of someone in your life that you'd like to direct healing to. And you can also send it to our entire planet. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you. And the pure light within you guide your way on. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you. And the pure light within you guide your way on. Inhale deeply. other and yourself with a beautiful light, gold and light. And exhale. Thank you for joining. Thank you so much, Nina. You're welcome.